Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna look at three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving electrical potential. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get into it. Question one says that a plus four microcoulomb point charge is 25 centimeters away from a point X. Calculate the electrical potential at X. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find V. We know that Q is 4.0 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs, epsilon naught is 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 farads per metre, and the distance R is 25 centimetres, which is the same as 0.25 metres. Writing down our equation now for electrical potential, also known as electrostatic potential, we have V equals Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R. Substituting in the numbers gives us 4.0 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by 4 pi times 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 times 0.25 and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 1.4 times 10 to the 5 volts. Remember this is a scalar so we don't need a direction. Question 2 says that a 3 nanocoulomb charge and a minus 5 nanocoulomb charge are separated as shown below. Calculate the electrical potential at position P. Well notice that the position P is in between the two charges and they're at different distances away. So what we need to do here is find the electrical potential at P due to charges Q1 and Q2 separately and then add them together in a scalar sum. So let's start by labelling our two charges. So I'm going to call this one at Q1 and this one at Q2. Then we can find the electrical potential V at point P due to charge Q1. So if we do that we can label the potential V1 to keep us right and that means we have Q1 is 3 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs, epsilon naught is 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 farads per metre, and R1 is 0.1 metres. Writing down our equation, we have V1 equals Q1 over 4 pi epsilon naught R1. Substituting in the numbers, we get 3.0 times 10 to the minus 9, divided by 4 pi times 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12, times 0.1, and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 269.8 volts. We can now find the electrical potential V at P due to Q2, which we can call V2, and we can write down that we know Q2 is minus 5 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs, Epsilon naught again is 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 farads per metre and R2 is 0.3 metres. Writing down our equation, we have V2 equals Q2 over 4 pi epsilon naught R2. Substituting in our numbers gives us minus 5 times 10 to the minus 9 over 4 pi times 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 times 0.3. And putting this into your calculator, you should get an answer of minus 149.9 volts. Now we need to add our two values for electrical potential together in a scalar sum. So we have V equals V1 plus V2, which gives us 269.8 plus minus 149.9, which is the same as just this minus this, which if you put into your calculator should give you a final answer of 120 volts. And remember this is a scalar, so there's no direction needed. Lastly, question 3 says to sketch a graph to show how the electrical potential varies with distance for a charged sphere. Well, your sketch should look something like this, where you've got electrical potential or electrostatic potential V on the y-axis against distance R on the x-axis, and this is our radius at this point here. So you'll notice that inside the charged sphere, we have that electrical potential is a constant non-zero value, and then outside the sphere, we have that V outside is proportional to 1 over R. So the electrical potential will drop off or reduce as the distance away from the charged sphere increases. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.